That's fine. Okay. All right, Britton. Uh, obviously, a lot goes into the decision process, and you saw the kind of success that sort of welled up for, for Brody last year at John Wood. Why is, why is John Wood basketball a great fit for you? Uh, you know, I visited the campus twice, and it, it seemed like a really good fit. The coaching staff uh, is really welcoming, and it looks like a place to uh, a great place to start. Obviously, it came within a hair of, uh, hair's breadth of a national championship. That's going to weigh in as well. Uh, yeah, you know, the success factor is, uh, is huge. It's, it's a good place to uh, continue to play basketball and uh, try to be successful. They talked a little bit about how they want to use you. I know I've heard they kind of want you to fill in right away for sort of what Brody did and what he brought. Yeah, you know, to do something just like Brody did, you know, that'd be that'd be great. He's a great, he was a great, great ball player for us and them. So if I can uh, do what he does, that'd be great. All right, Peyton, just uh, why John Wood is a great kind of place to make that next step for your baseball career? Um, they got a good program, and uh, you know, going to JUCO it's cheap, and uh, they have a good program, so. You touched on it. I mean, it, obviously those those guys get you ready for that next level too. Have you kind of given a thought of where that kind of puts you in two years and kind of making yeah. that move? Because I know you want to play for your baseball. Right. Um, going JUCO will give you the opportunity to maybe walk on at Western afterwards or maybe get a scholarship to Western. So, I don't know. It's a great opportunity. All right. I know this has been in the works for a while, but why ultimately was John Wood kind of the right place to continue? What's been a really good basketball career? Um, it was close to home, and I just wanted to be able to have my parents come and watch me. And... It just was home for me, and I just like the campus and coaches, and hopefully I'll get to know my teammates and like them as well, I guess. Um, yeah. There's, I mean, there's a big spot there. Obviously, they, they lose some pretty good guards, mm -hmm. and one in particular, your lead guard, mm -hmm. you know, in, in Shea. So, I mean, there's an opportunity there. For yep. that, that's going to fit pretty nicely. Well. Yeah, um, hopefully I can just fill her shoes. Um, she's a pretty go good ball player, and I played with her uh, my freshman year, so hopefully I can just fill her shoes. All right, ultimately, I know you wanted to keep the football career going. Why was Illinois College kind of the right fit for you moving forward? Uh, I really liked the coach, and I just seemed it seemed like a good fit for me, and I liked the way that they play, and I could just, I don't know, have an answer or question. I mean, you're, you're a versatile guy, I mean, and I, I know they like that. There's a million different positions you could play. Is that kind of exciting going in, kind of not knowing exactly where you may end up, but knowing they'll find a use for you? Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I'd rather stick with defense or try to play a slot receiver, but I'm not really too sure yet because our offense, we didn't really pass the ball much, and it's kind of hard to choose, but it should be fun. All right, please. first off, um, I know there was a lot of process that went into the whole thing with the view. Why was that ultimately the, the right landing spot for you going forward? Um, it was between Indiana State and Dubuque, and Indiana State has a great program, and Dubuque has a, a really great program, and it just came down to where did I feel more at home. Being in Indiana is a really big school, uh, and Dubuque just had a, a lot better um, a home, homey feeling to it, and the coaches there really love me. I really love the coaches. I think they have a great new program that I think I help uh, move forward. And You're obviously, I mean, dedicated flowing program helps, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, you know, they have a, it's, it's going from a school that, uh, you know, Alina West is more known for the football program, and, uh, you know, I help contribute to the track program a lot. And so going to a school that's really primary drive is, is track and field. I think it was a great fit for me, and uh, I think it's going to be a better fit because, you know, the coach is there, they really love throwing, and I really love throwing. I think we'll work together really well. All right, uh, obviously a chance to continue to pitch and, and do the things that I, I know you love to do on the diamond at John Wood is, is pretty neat. Why is that ultimately the best fit for you? I chose John Wood because I've been in their pitching camps for several years now, and the coaches are really good, and it just felt right to go there and continue my dream of pitching in college. They, they do a great job developing. I mean, you hit on that. You see the guys they send off to four-year colleges. Is that something in the back of your mind when you go JUCO that you start looking at, kind of positioning yourself for the next move as well? Yeah, hearing that they have a lot of guys that keep going on and playing baseball, I'm kind of looking forward to that and maybe continue playing baseball when I'm done with John Wood. Well, I was you know, playing for Coach Kemner and Culver Stock in the right place for you. Okay. I've always loved volleyball my entire life, and she knows exactly what she was talking about, and she was really welcoming when um, I went down to visit her. So I thought it was the right decision for me in my career. All right, John Wood, obviously Greg Lawson does a great job developing guys, and, and you're going to be a better player in, in two years, obviously. Do you think about that in the process, about making this move to make the next move, and how John Wood kind of pushes you to that next level? Um, definitely. He's going to help me with fundamentals, and we've talked about that a lot. Um, that's what I need to work on most to be a good ball player, and uh, that's what he's going to focus on. The guys are really welcoming there, so I think they're going to help me too. Is that flattering? I mean, when they see the raw talent in you, because you know you're not a finished product yet, but when they see what they think you can be, I mean, that says an awful lot, doesn't it? It kind of gives you confidence moving forward. Yeah, and 
not only them, but when Zach was helping me a lot, uh, he compared me a lot to him. And uh, seeing what he's done really opens my eyes and makes me see what I could possibly do. All right, and, uh, Carl Sandberg, I know a lot of different things kind of go into the process. They talked a little bit about how they want to use you and why, why is this the right fit for you? Well, you know, going into my senior year, like this summer, I really didn't think I was going to play anywhere. I just didn't really think I was interested. But, you know, Coach Denhouse called me. And I really liked the way, th the way he was running things. And I knew some guys that were already going there. And, some people in my class that I became friends with. And, you know, I don't really know too much of, like, where I'll be playing, but it doesn't really matter to me, probably somewhere in the infield. But other than that, I'll play wherever they need me to play. All right, Alfred, why was uh, St. Ambrose? I mean, I know you go through this process. Why was that the right fit for you in a couple of different sports? Um, I really like their school, like, their programs and stuff. And uh, the, like, being able to play both basketball and track was an opportunity that they were able to give me there. And so I think that kind of just uh, – made me choose them in the end.